Any town. Any particular issues? Any particular? I'm curious what he has to uh, say about women's issues because I know a lot of women have very strong opinions against him because of some of his comments, yet his daughters seem to be much more successful than uh, Clinton's daughters, and he seems to have raised them better, so I don't know why uh, women would be for him. Uh, do you happen to have any daughters yourself? I do. Two of them. And does that play into your opinions one way or the other? I hope that they grow up to be as successful as his daughters. Correct. We're just wondering how sales are going today. Uh, very well, I think. How many people do you think you've seen come through here so far? No, I'm guessing probably a good 10, 12,000, I'm guessing, for quite a few, yeah. What time do they go? Cool. Yeah, 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 three for 10. Three for 10? Yep. Oh, I like the Hillary for prison. Oh. There you go, Hillary for prison. <laughs> what time did they start showing up today? Early, I got here about 9.30 and there was already a line. Yeah? Yeah. People camping out overnight? Uh, I don't know about all that, but it wouldn't surprise me. They get, I'm sure they got here early. Yeah, I'm, uh, we hit most of these rallies. We try to, but you can't hit them all. Yeah. I'm driving, not flying. So. So you're not from around here. You nope. came in for it. Yep. The news. Just following it around. We follow them around. You can ask me a question. I studied international relations here. Ah, oh. at Westchester. Ah. Oh, right. uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And why are you here today? Uh, cause I'm all about the Trump. <laughs> <laughs> You studied international relations. Yes, are you, uh, I heard you asking some international relations yeah. related questions to the high schoolers. Yeah, what are your concerns? Um, I don't have many concerns really. Um, I don't think Obama should have put us into Syria. I did basically the same thing Bush did with Iraq. What brings you out here today? I'm here to uh, just see the rally, see, uh, see what uh, people have to say, what Trump has to say. I'm here to um, just watch the event basically. Are you from Westchester? Uh, I'm from the general area. Do you have any particular concerns you'd like to hear him talk about? Um, not in particular. I mean, everyone pretty much is talking about the same stuff that everyone else talks about. So, um, you know, all the candidates are trying just to market themselves. So it should be interesting just to see what they have to say, what other people have to say. No, I just can't believe there's such a line. This is pretty incredible, and it seems like they're mostly Trump supporters. So what do you think that says, uh, you know, with all of these people coming out today on a Monday as Trump supporters? Well, a friend of mine actually posted earlier on Facebook, if you drive around here and look at all these supporters, that uh, you, you can't kid yourself that this isn't a movement, but there are definitely people who are seriously behind him, and uh, the Republicans and the Democrats better start taking him seriously. <laughs> what brought you out here today, if you don't uh, mind speaking with us? We just wanted to come out and support Trump. So, I'm, I'm, I'm immigrant. And she's the, I'm from Indonesia and I'm immigrant. You're from where? I'm sorry? Indonesia. Indonesia. Ah, okay. And I'm Muslim. Muslim, yes. immigrant, supports <laughs> Trump all the way. And I have my law degree. <laughs> so, okay. You're a Trump supporter yourself? Oh, yeah. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How far have you gone selling your wares? Well, we've been, we, we're from Tampa, Florida, and we've been all the way up to Chicago and Rochester, New York, and just, uh, it gets you after a while, though, physically, it, <laughs> it takes a toll on you running around the country, driving, you know. Hello, do you have a minute to talk with us today? <laughs> what do you want to talk? <laughs> we just want to know why, why you're out here today. Uh, I just uh, want to uh, support Donald Trump. Yeah? Yeah. Anything in particular you want to hear him talk about? Uh, I just uh, think uh, a lot of his ideas, uh, I agree to what a uh, lot of things that he says. You don't want to pinpoint one of them for us today? Uh, just uh, generally. Yeah. I think he's uh, pretty conservative and uh, I think a lot of the issues uh, that we're facing, I think it's, uh, you know... Talk with us? No? No. Thanks. I actually think that Trump is much more friendly towards Russia than our current administration is, and Russia is an ally of Syria. I think that we should maybe be supporting our, um, not only just NATO, but other countries as well. I agree with a lot of things, and not, he's not perfect, but uh, I agree a lot of things that he says. Would you say you have a greater concern about domestic issues or foreign issues? I think both. Yeah.
How do you feel about the health care policy we have in place now and what he plans on doing with it? Uh, the only thing I know is my health plan uh, cost increased every year since the uh, Obamacare is in place. So I think it needs a lot of uh, reform. Have you actually heard him answer direct questions like on foreign policy or health care or the environment? Well, at this time right now, I don't really want to comment on any of the candidates other than the candidates I think are just doing their best to show what they can offer the country. So um, when I make my decision, then I'll feel free to comment about each of the candidates. But right now, I don't want to say anything negative about any candidate. You're sounding a little like a future politician, or are you currently one? Oh, there we go. No, I'm not a future politician. No, I'm not currently one. <laughs> I'm right. Exactly. I'm just trying not to embarrass my, my family. <laughs> Do you think he takes himself seriously? You want me to drive up as, there? As much as anyone should. What do you think his focus is or his objectives uh, if he were to become president? I think his objectives, if he were to be president, would be to get us financially stable again. And that's something that a lot of presidential candidates seem to skirt and rather play to the uh, social issues of the time, which presidents really shouldn't even play a part in for the most part. What bothers me is that most of these people here, if they really want to have an impact on our government, should be voting in their congressional and Senate races, which I would guarantee you most of the people here, probably 90% of them at least, don't even go to those elections. And they can inf influence directly who gets elected there. Are you here from Westchester or did yeah. you come into town? No, we live uh, 10 minutes away. Do you have any certain issues you want to hear him speak about today? No, we just want to kind of hear what he says. See it. Just show your love? Show our love. <laughs> and may I speak with your wife for a moment? No, did absolutely. you get your law degree here in the States? No. No? Do you work as a lawyer here? I, no. You know, no, I, I have to go back to school and I'm too old. So. <laughs> You've been here a while? I'm a lawyer too. Oh, you yeah. are. <laughs> You've been here a while? You like it here? Yes. And how do you feel about Trump? Um, I like what uh, the message that he bring on the um, campaign. And um, is this, is somebody told me the end of the racist line is. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find it. I don't agree with whatever all of you know whatever he said, but mostly I agree with you know the issue that um, on his campaign. But uh, it's uh, an experience. It's fun. Have you done this before with other candidates? No, no, no. I got a buddy of mine who owns a, owns a business and he asked me if I want to go out here. Why not? I wasn't doing anything else. Did you have health care costs increasing before Obama? Well, it increased, but not to the extent that uh, it's increasing now. Okay. How about environmental concerns? Any issues there you'd like to hear him talk about? Not too much. No? No. Do you think Putin's to be trusted? No. <laughs> but he is to be feared and he is to be respected when our current administration says something like there's a red line in the sand in Syria that you know you can't cross but then we don't do anything about it then the current administration is not to be respected not to be feared what do you think uh, Trump will do with the foreign policies uh, it's hard to say he hasn't come out with anything too too solid yet what has he come out with well, he's come out with a way to prevent illegal immigration. Um, he seems to be the only one with a real plan for it, whereas a lot of Democrats call them undocumented workers. Really, they are illegal immigrants breaking the laws. You actually look a little familiar. Are you from Westchester? No, I'm from media. From media? media, yes. Traveled out here to support yes, or just check it out? It's check it out as part of history and also one of the things that we watch on television. I actually looked at his website. And some of the things that I was, was curious about, there was more detail. Um, one of the things in particular that people always go and talk about is they, the wall. And people say he can't make a wall. Well, I was a soldier for a long time, and I remember the, the wall in Europe. So people do make walls. I'm not saying that's the way to go, but they do make walls. And so, I, you know, let's see what he has to say and also see how the uh, democracy is working. Because it is. You know, we have to always listen to different viewpoints. You can't just say, you know, I don't like what you have to say. I don't want to hear it. They're, they're not doing that on the, the, the state and local level. This is this, but they won't go vote for the local the, the media. media this, the media turns this into presidential elections into a circus, and people like their circuses. You think a lot of that, that circus has to do with sort of television, advertising, things like that? The television, advertising, and the candidates themselves. They play into it. They uh, 
you know, ever since Kennedy won the debate with Nixon, everyone realized television presence is just as important as policies. And now it's turned to be about completely all about that and nothing about substance any longer. And Trump might be obnoxious, and uh, but at least he says it like it is. And I'd rather have that than somebody who's lying through their teeth all the time. If I ask you anything you don't want to answer, just say so. Sure. But I would like to hear your opinion on how you feel about tagging Muslims that are here, following Muslims that are here, not letting Muslims in. Um, question. As a Muslim, I know that we do have a problem. If we don't want to recognize it, then how can we uh, solve the problem? We have to understand that. What made you want to come out and do it for Trump? Well, I Trump is just, uh, I think he's just going to, I think he's going to win it, per 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 perfectly honest with you. He's, uh, I don't know, he just, Hillary's, he ain't cutting it, and you get, well, you get lion's head, <laughs> so, you know, what, what can you do? You, you, you know, what's the worst of all evils at this point? I think Donald's going to get it. Yeah. Uh, foreign policy, war on terror? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I agree. We need to have a, a like more a tougher stance uh, to the terrorism, uh, and also the uh, about the refugees and the immigrations need to at least have some control over those issues. And what is his plan? His plan is to build a wall, just like many countries have walls between borders. Walls are easy. Walls are not that expensive when it comes to the actual cost of illegal immigration. Do you think America's done its part with the refugee issue, considering Turkey's taken in a couple of million? Um, and is the size of Texas? Well, you really, uh, to fix the refugee issue, you need to find the really uh, attacks the root cause, not just taking more people in, right? You have to find the uh, uh, to solve the problem from its root, not just to because this, this uh, refugee issue is uh, just the. Uh, aftermath of all the turmoil in uh, in the Middle East in that area right so if you cannot solve the solve the root problem you I mean the refugee issue is just something that you cannot you can you can try to take taking more people but eventually you know there's a really you cannot fix the fix the whole problem were you around to celebrate Berlin Wall coming down no born the same year did you study about it did you go to the Berlin Wall? Have been. Did you? Were you there in 1989? I have uh, uh, Nazi soldiers in my family and American soldiers in my family from World War II, so it's kind of an issue for me. Okay, so are you uh, alluding to Trump being somehow a national socialist, or? No, I have to do I'm not alluding. I'm just curious of what your thoughts are about the wall. Do you think most people are listening to different viewpoints? I think not anymore. It's unfortunate. I think Americans have become very, very polarized. Um, I think the concept of we the people is kind of like diminishing re quickly. And it's unfortunate. I spent a long time as a soldier. You know, that's one of the reasons why I did. I grew up with, you know, the red, white, and blue and believe in that, but at the same time tolerating other people's differences of opinion. I think that level of intolerance has gone to the part where it's going to divide us, and I think it already has. Um, somebody may say something that maybe sound inflammatory. They're words. But at the end of the day, I think it was a Greek philosopher said, um, when the people realize they can vote for bread and circuses, they always do. What do you think the value is of saying it like it is, and the, and these, this day and age, based on all the things that we go through and all the issues it's, that are out there, healthcare being one, yeah, well, you know, the war on terror. Things. You know, hopefully it's a turning point. I mean, everything's cyclical, and we've gone through a huge cycle of political correctness and everyone wanting to be uh, politically correct and say the right things so that people hear the right things, and that seems to have been a very popular stance. And if he doesn't get elected, at least I think shows the turning of the tide into the opposite direction which, uh, whether it's good or bad, uh, is bound to happen. What do you think the problem is? Well, <laughs> yeah, you know, the smart people need to fight, figure it out. I think I have the, the idea, but, you know, just I cannot tell it right now. <laughs> but I think you'd agree that there's a difference between the extremists and all the rest of the Muslims. Oh, of course, definitely. As a Muslim, we don't even allow to kill that has a soul. When you call, when you kill something that has a soul, then you kill all of humanity. That's what I believe.
Ethiopia, and I'm Muslim. I was raised, I was born and raised as a Muslim. And <laughs> Wouldn't you say the core of the problem is the Islamic State? Uh, yeah, so just, I think it's one of it. Yeah, one of the cause. How do you think he could possibly attempt to fix something like that? <laughs> I don't know. That's why I want to uh, want yeah. to hear from him. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's not an easy fix. <laughs> no, it's not. Anything else you'd like to hear him talk about specifically today, or? And, uh, uh, I'm just uh, just here to show the support. Okay. That's, uh, well, did you come in from, uh, from out of town, or are you from Westchester? I'm living close, close by, okay. about 15 minutes away. Okay. Well, thanks for speaking with us. You can look for us on tomorrowpictures.tv. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Walls have always been in the history of human civilization and they've kept bad things out. How do you know which is a bad thing and which is the good thing? <clears throat> well, if we're talking about illegal immigration, illegal immigrants take jobs that working class, now working class Americans, uh, manufacturers, uh, farm hands would otherwise take. These are legal citizens' jobs that would be filled by legal citizens, but instead they're filled by illegal immigrants. Did you spend any time in the Middle East as a soldier? No, I did not. Mostly in Europe? or Mainly, mainly in Europe. But you know what? People all around the world want the same thing. They want happiness, right? There's different ways to get to it. Some people are willing to pay different prices for it. Um, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I am a patriotic person. I believe that our way is the best way. Um, that doesn't mean that everybody else has to go to hell, but I think our way is the best way. It's been pretty successful. I mean, we've had our ups and downs, but we are a place that people come and look for. I mean, you don't see people running to leave here to go live in Saudi Arabia, where women can't drive cars, right? Anything else you'd like to say to Nah. Just, where's the line start? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> I was up here yesterday and I'm like, oh, just right there. And I'm like, that's, I guess they were supposed to let people in at one o'clock and uh, they didn't do it. I don't think they've started letting anyone in yet. No, he was speaking in Rhode Island at one o'clock. Right. CNN. Like, so he's in a chopper or something. I figured they'd let people inside. I guess they figure it's not raining. Let them. But uh, hopefully we got, got tickets. They were free, so our last presidential candidate we went to see was uh, Ron Paul, who we supported for the Republican nomination back in 08, uh, yeah. maybe it was. Saw him at Independence Hall, so um, like, like people like Ron Paul, uh, though Trump's definitely not a libertarian, he's not a uh, liberal for sure by any means, so I think our country's time is uh, ready to start thinking a little more along those lines. Thank you, sir. All right. Appreciate it, brother. You know, and that's the big thing we think is lost in the rhetoric is um, there's a difference between extremists and the typical Muslim, right? There, 99% of Muslims are not extremists, just like us. They have the same ideas as we do. They got the same everything that we have but we only hear about the extremists. Do you think that building a wall might change all of that? It might change who we are? I think building the wall is something that people really don't have to worry about. I don't think it's going to come to fruition because I think so many people will have, you know, will, will make it more than it is. Um, I think there will probably be something before the wall has to be built that will deter some people, right, from, you know, to go and do the wall. But immigration is a problem. We do have it. You know, this is not the United States of the 1960s where there's a, a million jobs. Technology is replacing people and also the edu education level is going down. You look out in his crowd, I see some of these young people, they don't have a clue. They're never going to have a job. They never have a job that, that a college education uh, required. And even when you listen to Trump, right, he says that. Um, we hear that. We don't necessarily read that in the papers, but when we listen to him, that's what he's saying is, Yes, I don't like extremists, um, but we're not hearing that he hates all Muslims at all. We don't hear that at all. Do you see Trump as an extremist in any way? Well, I think anybody in politics is a little bit extreme, in my opinion. Uh, 
because they've got to state their opinions. And going out and stating your opinions, sometimes you sound like an extremist. Um, so I, I listened to Hillary, Sanders, Cruz, and all of them in their own ways sound kind of extreme. And I think it's kind of hard to, to peg one person as more extreme than the others. They're all trying to get into office. They're going to say whatever they need to say. Did you see anything on his website about education? I didn't get that far. I didn't get that far. Um, but I don't believe government's role is to um, ensure equality of outcome. Equality of opportunity, but not equality of outcome. And I think there's a lot of people that are listening, they, they want that entitlement. And also I saw some of the problems that you have in Europe. Um, you know, like, like a socialized medicine, not socialized medicine, but a system, systems where there's a lot of socialism and entitlements. I don't want that here. That's okay for me to be a Dane or you know, a Norwegian or a Sweden, but not for the United States. By the way, I'm independent. I'm not Republican. She can't even Democrat. vote tomorrow. So. <laughs> Do you think there's a problem with illegal immigrants actually taking American jobs? I think that's a lot. Some of that I think is a lot. There's a hype. Okay, I think there's, I, I don't want to say this, but I think that a lot of the, I don't, I don't demonize illegal immigrants, because one of the things in particular, and it's probably because I'm a soldier, that I was in the army with people who were Mexican, right, that had green cards, they were in the army, so you know what, they might not have had like, you know, made in the USA on them, but they were just as American as anybody else, and I depended upon them, and Arlington Cemetery is full of all kinds of people with names like Ramez and Gomez, so this thing about the, the, with the Mexicans, no, I don't buy that. I don't buy that at all, okay? Do you have any opinion on his uh, take on health care? Uh, health care is tough. I don't know about that one, actually. Um, all I know is I keep paying more and more and more. So I, I don't have an answer on that. I don't know if anybody has an answer on that. That one's a tough one. Do you think the kids with entitlement uh, would actually take those jobs working as dishwashers? No. I, I don't even see kids up... Uh, shoveling snow anymore in my driveways in my neighborhood or cutting the grass so I don't think so I think they have a, I think they have a false idea of what the future is going to bring to them do you ever see a true-blooded American uh, say that they pick mushrooms out in Kennett Square for a living I haven't seen anybody pick mushrooms in Kennett Square so I, I, I can't answer that question do you have so. any other concerns you'd like to hear him speak about today uh, what else? What else do we want to hear? I don't know. Nothing that I can think of. No? No. Anything else you'd like to share? No, thank you. <laughs> I'm looking at your hat, Make America Great Again. Is there, is there one thing you yeah, can name? <laughs> one thing you can name that you think he could do to help make America great again? <laughs> yeah, vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> There you go. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you. It's a time of change. And I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people are scared of change. So. Are you afraid of change? I have to deal with it. So I can't be afraid of it. It's the future. You think Trump can bring change? I think anybody can bring change. Okay, I think Hillary will bring change. I think Trump could bring change. I think Bernie. So that's a pretty general question. But, um. You know, do I think it's going to be a change with it, that a lot of people who think that, I think a lot of people will be disappointed in, in the expectation because he's only human. And he has to still deal with Congress and everything else. So, no, I'm not afraid of change, but it's coming. Stumps. Can't stump no, the Trump. No, it's just how to, <laughs> I don't know how to say that politely, so I had to stop myself. Hey, hey. Any other concerns you want to voice here today? Keep America strong. I mean, and the, only, and the only way we can do that is by working together and not taking all this stuff too much to heart. You know, you have the people out there, I hate, you know, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. I like that. Keep America strong instead of make it great again. You know, it's a, it's, it's a slogan, right? It's a slogan. Um, that's all it is. You think America's great? I think it is. I think it is great. I think it could be better. I think there's some problems we have to have to correct, right? We still have real big problems of racism in this country, okay? But you know what? A lot of places have different isms, right? It'll, it'll have to change eventually because it has to. Otherwise, we won't survive. We're all in the same canoe. No one's going anywhere. You know, we do have to control immigration. Does that mean no immigration? Of course not, right? But you have to have it so that people like these kids here, some of them, so they can have a chance to get jobs. 
because the thing is, people do come from overseas and have real high educations and take jobs lower than some a lot of Americans do. And, some, and they, so you have to find that balance. Some of them also believe that, you know, they're entitled to something. You know, they get out, they go to school, go to school for four years, and then they're going to walk into a like $60,000 job. That's not going to happen, especially that's going to happen with a psychology or sociology degree. It's not happening. You've got to get realistic. I think too many people go to college and not enough time to spend on the trades. We don't make anything here, right? We, I mean, if you get bricks laid, you, you, where are the bricklayers? It's true. There's not a lot of uh, trade training in our country. Well, they, Did, should. they should. They should do it because you know what? Those are good jobs and those things are the things we need, right? But people have this thing on college, like everybody should go to college. It's not true. It's not true. You can go there and get a degree. You got to spend all the money it takes for a four-year degree, a major in sociology or psychology, and what you'll be is an admin. You'll be an admin somewhere. Did you see a lot of that in Europe? Trade training? I saw some in Germany. I saw some training in Germany, yeah. I saw that also in some of the Scandinavian countries, but more so Germany. You know, they actually, with education, was actually a little bit more reasonable in some ways. People were said, okay, this is what you can do. This is good, you know, and by aptitude. We don't do any aptitude training here, you know? If, you, if you're not real scientifically oriented, the idea of saying, oh, I'm going to be a PhD in microbiology makes no sense. Where you might be like a great mechanic, right? And, and you'll have a job, right? You'll have a job. Okay, I think that's enough for today. My cousin's getting tired. <laughs> Well, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> we thought he was the quiet one. <laughs>